What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are at Titan Factory Direct Homes here in New Brunfels, Texas, and we're getting ready to walk through the Brazos 2. This is a champion home. It is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, 2,305 square feet, and I love the front of this home. You've got the gables right here, the recessed entryway, and then you've got a couple of these nice awnings over the top of several of the windows. Just gives it a little extra pop, a curb appeal. The siding going all the way around the home is a nice gray hardy siding, uh, which I've seen a lot kind of down here in the south, southwest area. Not too much on the east coast. Over there it's more vinyl, but anyway. Uh, big old window looking into the master bathroom right here. This master bathroom, it's got crazy big windows in it and just all of the light floods into this thing. It's probably one of my favorite rooms in the whole house. Um, but coming around to the back side of the home, again, more windows. Uh, you got the kitchen, dining room, and then down here to the far end of the home, it's got this funky little, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like the laundry room and an office, and it's got um, like a little island in the middle. A little different, I don't think I've seen it before. Uh, you do got a side door right here as well, so you can put a nice little garage or a carport. Uh, when it comes to the price, this home does start at approximately $230,000. But if you do want any more information on this home or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right, this one, <laughs> this home right here has got one of the neater layouts and just finishes that I've seen uh, in some time. And I just, I, I enjoyed it very much. So super excited to get into it with you. This is kind of the foyer when you do first walk in, your front entryway. You've got this nice big built-in cabinet right here. Little spot to drop the keys and everything. And then you've got some storage up underneath of it. And then from there you open up into the living room. And I know <laughs> the first thing that you notice is those coffered ceilings in the kitchen and dining room. That's what caught my attention anyway. But uh, living room sitting on the front side of the house, nice big open space. I think the only thing that's looking for missing, that might be looking for it too, <laughs> is a little fireplace. So but really nice living room. Love the outside too, my goodness. And this whole home, this thing is absolutely massive. So from the living room, you come into the kitchen area, you've got your refrigerator, you've got some nice cabinets up above that. The nice gray cabinet color, and then of course the black poles. Ooh, got some nice adjustable shelves in there. I like the ones that aren't the pin adjustable shelves, you know what I mean? I like like the quick adjustable one. And then you've got your uh, oven and this beautiful range hood right here. It's got a nice little, I like the shelf. I think that's pretty unique. I haven't seen that before. And then back behind the oven, you've got this kind of small, fun little tile backsplash. Then just next to that, you've got a great big, well, not great big, but you know what I mean. I don't, I don't want to over-exaggerate it. I'm already in love with this home. So, but you've got a nice size pantry in here. And then on the far wall, look at all of this counter space. You've got this great big buffet style counter with the big windows and the light fixtures up above it going all the way down. Plenty of drawers, not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. And then they don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. Then at the end, you've got a built-in microwave and then some more cabinet storage space. I was about to say somebody was ready for Mardi Gras, but it's got some spiders on it, so it might be more Halloween-y. And then you've got a lower. And then in the middle, you've got this big old island. You've got some pot and pan drawers right here stainless sink looking out into the living room 
So it makes it really nice because you can just kind of work back and forth. And then you've got your dishwasher. Get over here on this side and check out the seating arrangement. So you probably put like three or four stools over here on this side and then these ceilings. I'll give you a little bit closer look at it. You've got these rustic wood beam coffered ceilings going from the kitchen all the way into the dining room, which I think looks really, really sharp. And then into the dining room. Now, the one thing that I'm so used to seeing and these big old picture windows keep reminding me of it, but then I have to realize that they aren't, uh, is sliding glass doors here in the, the dining room, which I feel like is almost has become standard, but I like the fact that they're just windows. I would like access out onto a back porch, but this home's got some other cool things that might allow you to, to let that one pass on by. Now, getting into all of the secondary bedrooms, which there are three down on this end of the home, this being the first of the three. Nice big size rooms too closet got the nice wood shelves and the wood hanging towels then on the opposite side you've got to get over here I think they're in the process of finishing staging this one but they're not quite there yet so forgive the bed sitting up against the wall but into this closet it's got some more wood shelves and hanging dowels a little different configuration which is pretty cool there are <laughs> there's things everywhere in this home it just keeps going uh, into the first full bathroom you've got a single vanity right here with nice big counter space some cabinets down below it and then you've got like a little towel rack all the way at the bottom linen built in toilet and then a great big shower and tub combo. I'm gonna point this out too. It's got like a medicine cabinet up over the top of the toilet too. So a lot of storage happening. I'm liking it. Then around the corner, you come into the third bedroom. I think this is the smaller of the three secondary bedrooms. And its closet. This one's got the same layout with the two uh, shelves in there. The furnace. Now this is working our way all the way down to the end of the home. We've got the side door right here. And then I guess this would just be like a nice den area. Maybe turn this into a game room, but Kind of keeping with the coffered ceilings, they brought these exposed beams in here that kind of match. We've got some more windows looking out towards the front of the home. Let me know down in the comments what you're going to turn this room into. Is it going to be uh, a game room, TV room, maybe like your, your less formal just living room area. And then you've got these barn doors right here that separate this room from, I wanna say, so it's got a couple different things happening. It's got an office space on this side, so a great spot for the kids to come in here and do all their schoolwork. They've got their own sides, or you can, if you're working from home, this can be like your office area. And then back behind us, now don't mind the refrigerator, because I don't necessarily think that the refrigerator goes there. Maybe it does, but I don't, Huh, interesting. Maybe it does go there. Well, that's cool. We got another refrigerator back here uh, so the kids can get their drinks or maybe you can turn this into like a whole in-law suite on this end other than the fact that the washer and dryer's here. But you do have your washer dryer hookups. You've got a nice deep wash basin right here and then all of the cabinets up above it. And then on this end, I almost think that this would make a great folding table. You know what I mean? And then you can store uh, some stuff up underneath, maybe some extra towels, some extra linens, 
something like that. Let me know what's happening uh, in your mind in here. It's got me a little, <laughs> a little confused. Anyway, now on the opposite end of the home, I think you'll like this, the master bedroom. It is nice and big and the ensuite is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the master bedroom. It sits up on the front side of the home. Again, you've got some nice big windows in here. Just plenty of space. Now, we'll get to it in a minute. I don't want to keep, <laughs> keep leading you on, but into this closet, check out how big this closet is. This thing goes all the way down. wood shelves in here too and i say that so much just because it's so rare that we've been especially today today i haven't seen too many wood shelves it's all been the wire stuff so it's nice that they put it in this one but into this ensuite you got again another barn door uh nice standalone tub right here with the windows again you can put some curtains or some blinds here or some shades uh just to kind of keep the peepers away but um, on the opposite side, you've got a double vanity. You've got a little makeup vanity in the middle and then these great big built-ins on either side with plenty of drawers. Then towards the back, you've got this walk-in shower right here with the tile surround. Got a couple different styles of tile happening in here. I actually, I like the more weathered wood tile. I think that looks really good. And then all the way at the back is the water closet. You got a little medicine cabinet up above it, the toilet. So very nice. I like this home a lot. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model, I'll leave that information for you in the description. It'll be right there at the top, first little link. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, manufactured, tiny, modular, site built homes, all types of things. You can filter them down by price. We did that. <laughs> Square footage, number of bedrooms, uh, all different types of things and see if they're built in your area, fun stuff. Anyway, all of that is 100% free, so definitely go check that out. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. My name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.